All right, the last trump, the name of our presentation. So we're going to be looking at that now. The last trump. <clears throat> In the rapture scriptures, we read of a sound of a trumpet. Right? First, first, <laughs> first Thessalonians, I feel like Sylvester the Cat trying to say that. First Thessalonians chapter 4. Uh, for this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain, means you're still alive, you haven't been killed, and you remain in Christ, until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. Asleep just means people who have died, uh, but they're in Christ. So, uh, they're just asleep. Their bodies are going to be resurrected. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. So, there is a trumpet sound that will accompany this resurrection, this gathering together, this harvest. There will be a trumpet there. Now, so there's a trumpet, but in 1 Corinthians we learn which trumpet, because it's not just any trumpet. It's a special trumpet. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Behold, I tell you, a mysterion. We shall not all sleep or die. Okay, but we shall all be changed, die physically, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised. Okay, so, it's not only a trumpet, it's the last trumpet. Now, logically, if there is a last trumpet, there are other trumpets in the series, and the last one is the one in which we shall be raised and raptured. Isn't that what it's saying? There's a last trumpet. Okay, so <clears throat> I want to look at six things that occur within uh, these scriptures here. First, we have Christ himself, okay, descending from heaven. So Christ descending from heaven, there's the second thing. He shouts, third thing. He does so as an archangel. Now, some people have trouble with this because, well, Jesus can't be an angel. Well, he's a man. <laughs> he's God. He's the Son of God. He's the Son of Man. He's the Lord. If He's all those things, why can't He also be an archangel? Right? Take the form of an archangel. In the Old Testament, He's the angel of the Lord. Why not? I have no problem with that. With the voice of an archangel. <clears throat> At the last trumpet. And one more. Always with clouds, right? Coming on the clouds of heaven. Uh, when Jesus comes, always with clouds. So those six signs I want to look at. I want to compare it with another scripture. This is what it means to divide the word. To rightly divide the word is to compare scripture with scripture. Because you'll have something in one place that will give you some information. But if you find another place in scripture that's talking about the same thing and put them together, you'll understand even more clearly. Alright, so we're looking at another place in scripture. Revelation chapter 10. And we're going to read about a last trumpet. <clears throat> in fact, it's the only last trumpet in uh, the apocalyptic books. <coughs> okay, this is the seventh trumpet of Revelation. Now, in Revelation, there are seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls. Okay, we're reading about the seventh trumpet here. And this scripture I'm about to read to you, we need to look at the location. Again, I'm, I'm always talking about location, the order of events. We're discussing the timing of the rapture, the order of events, not the reality of the event. The event shall happen, but when, according to the order of events. So, the, the text we're going to read is going to happen uh, after the first six trumpets have sounded, right before the seventh one is going to sound. That's what we're reading. The interval right before the seventh one is going to sound. That's the location of this text. Here we go. Let's read it. I saw still another mighty angel coming down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was on his head. His face was like the sun and his feet like pillars of fire. He had a little book open in his hand. And he set his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roars and swore by him to this forever and ever, that there should be delay no longer. But in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, the mystery of God would be finished. 
as he declared to his servants the prophets. Now, let's see about our seven or our six signs here. Now, some people would dispute that this is Christ. First, because they say, oh, it's a mighty angel. It can't be Christ. He's the angel of the Lord, right? He's Certainly, he can uh, take the form of an archangel. <clears throat> uh, also, look. His face was like the sun and his feet like pillars of fire. There's only one being in the Bible who is described as a face shining like the sun and feet like pillars of fire. In fact, that is Christ's description at the beginning of the book of Revelation. Face shining like the sun, feet like pillars of fire. All right. In fact, also he's got a little book open in his hand. What's that book? Well, there's a seven-sealed scroll that he was opening in heaven, and now it's open in his hand. It certainly is Christ. But let's look. So we have Christ descending, coming down from heaven. And you're going to see that Revelation 10 is 1 Thessalonians 4. What does he do when he gets down? He shouts. He cries with a loud voice. That's what you do when you shout. You cry with a loud voice. Christ descending from heaven, shout with a loud voice. He does so as an archangel. What does he talk about? <laughs> what does he talk about after he descends? He talks about the sounding of the seventh angel, the last trumpet. He says when it sounds, the mystery of God will be finished. We talked about that earlier. We're going to get to that again. And, of course, always with clouds. So we have all six signs appearing here together. Ah, remember what the mystery of God is? Christ in the church. Christ in you. We're enjoying it right now. When will that be finished? Before the seven years? <laughs> or is it finished when the seventh angel of Revelation sounds? After the sixth seal. <coughs> Those of you who have followed this knows what happens in the sixth seal. That's when the mystery of God is finished. We'll also have our Mysterion over here. Remember, every time we see Mysterion, except three, it has something to do with Christ and the church. Last trumpet, last trumpet. Every Bible study I've ever been in, when we get to that last trumpet, the teacher or the leader, many of whom I love with all my heart and still love with all my heart, they're Christian, Christian men and women, and they're going to heaven, but...